The Monaco Grand Prix is by far the most prestigious race on the Formula One schedule, and it is one of the most important races in the world. Along with the Indianapolis 500 and the 24 Hours of Le Mans, the Monaco Grand Prix is part of the Triple Crown of Motorsports and has been around in the Formula One championship circuit since 1955. Even those not familiar with Formula One have heard of this race. Monaco is one of the most affluent areas in the world, and you may have heard of Monte Carlo from any number of James Bond films, which tells you something of its status. Circuit de Monte Carlo is 3.34 kilometers, just over two miles, and it is not a fast course due to the number of sharp turns. The straightest part of the course is the end from turn 19 to turn one. But after that, the drivers have to navigate the Grand Hotel hairpin at turn six, the hard right turn at turn seven, before they enter the tunnel, the Nouvelle Chicane, at turns 10 and 11, going through the pool from turns 15 to 16, and even the tight right-handers at turns 17 and 18. When you hear drivers say they are not racing each other at the Monaco Grand Prix, it is because they are racing the racetrack itself. The Monaco Grand Prix is the biggest F1 betting event you will see all year, and with a little knowledge about money line betting, you can easily understand and place your wagers. The majority of the odds should come with a plus sign in front of them, which tells you how much to bet along with the payout. So, for example, you could see odds of plus 850. This means if you bet $100 and that driver crosses the finish line first, you could win $850. You might also see a driver that has a minus sign in front of their odds, something like minus 190. That would mean you have to bet $190 to win $100 on that driver. The 2014 champion was Nico Rosberg, who won his second race of the season from the pole, giving Mercedes the first six wins of the year between Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton, who held off Daniel Ricciardo for second place. Fernando Alonso and Nico Hulkenberg finished in the top five, while 12th place Kim Raikkonen actually had the fastest lap of the day. The story of the race, however, was Mercedes continuing to dominate the F1 campaign. It was Rosberg's second win in a row at Monaco, and he joins Alonso as the only active driver with multiple wins here. Both still need four wins to catch up to Artin Senna, who won six times in seven years from 1987 to 1993, while Graham Hill and Michael Schumacher each have five wins at Monaco. Click over now and check out all the motorsports odds on the board, including Formula One, NASCAR, IndyCar, and more, and make a few wagers at BetDSI.com.